Hey, what's up everyone? Brian Schmidt here, and today I wanted to talk to you about injury prevention and recovery. Now, one of the reasons I wanted to bring this up was because earlier in the week, I actually injured one of my muscles. I typically go to my regular gym and do all my workouts there, but this time I was a little short on time, so I decided to go to my apartment complex gym um, and at least improvise with the machines that they have there. Um, however, I was doing shoulder shrugs, and I went on the Smith machine to do this, and the Smith machine, it kind of tends to get caught sometimes when you get to certain positions. So as I, as I was doing my shoulder shrugs, I pulled up, and of course it got stuck, and so I went to like pull through it real quick, and I went a little bit too fast, and I pulled my upper back neck area. Um, you just feel that little pull. And when you feel that, you want to stop immediately. Stop your workout completely. And that's what I did. Um, and I went through a few things that I'm going to talk to you about in a little bit when it gets to the recovery part. But, I mean, that was only four days ago. And I have no more pain at all whatsoever. So I can get back to my normal um, shoulder workout like nothing happened. So anyways, as far as prevention goes, um, one of the first things you want to do when you get to the gym to prevent injury yourself is you want to stretch. Um, I can't emphasize that enough. Stretching is the most important way to prevent injuring your muscles before your normal routine. And also maybe add in a little cardio as well. Get the blood flowing some. Loosen up your body. If you just jump into your full workout, you're probably going to pull something. Um, especially adding all that weight onto yourself immediately without any kind of lead into that whatsoever. Um, but yeah, first and foremost, stretch. I like to use one of the foam rollers, so um, if you've ever seen that before, I'll post the link below so you guys can check it out. But um, you can really use that um, to at least warm up any muscle on your body. You can use a foam roller on your legs, your arms, chest, back. Um, I mostly use it for my back, but of course there's many other ways of stretching. I'm sure uh, many of you have your own way, but definitely stretch. Um, and then also when you get into your routine some, don't just throw 300 pounds on bench press and try to do that immediately. No, you want to lead into it a little bit. You want to do some warm-up sets, um, get the blood flowing into your muscles, and then go heavy. Um, <clears throat> anyways, but with that, you also want to use good form. And what I mean by that is, um, you ever see those guys curling and stuff? And um, as they curl, they may throw their back to get that weight up there because it's the last couple reps. Well, when you see that, they're obviously not using good form and they have a high probability of pulling something. Most likely, their upper or lower back, depending on how they're doing it. Um, even on bench press, when you see those guys arching their back, <laughs> like three feet in the air, they're probably going to pull something. Um, so mainly, a lot of times bodybuilders will pull their upper, lower back. If you pull your lower back really bad, it could be very severe. So definitely want to stretch, use good form, don't cheat, <laughs> warm up a little bit um, before going into your normal routine. And of course, I always emphasize if you're using a lot of weight that you're not used to, you want to get a spotter. Now, you don't necessarily have to have them holding the bar or the weight the entire time, but at least have them there to guide you, or at least if you can't get the weight up, then you can have them take over and help, your, help yourself the rest of the way. So, anyways, that's enough for, of prevention. Now let's go into recovery. Alright guys, now let's talk about the recovery process. If you're in the gym, as soon as you feel that pain shoot through your muscle or that tightness or that pull, you want to stop what you're doing immediately. You want to re-rack that weight and do not finish the rest of your set. Um, don't finish the rest of your routine and see how bad you may have actually hurt yourself. Maybe it was nothing and you can keep going, but maybe you actually did cause something very severe. Now, if you start str trying to stretch that muscle that you pulled and you can't move it at all whatsoever, then I recommend seeing a doctor um, and at least get that taken care of immediately. So, however, like when I was working out the other day, I pulled it, but I didn't pull it too severe. I knew it wasn't that bad. 
Um, so at least I stopped my workout, at least for me it was towards the end of my routine anyway. So I re-racked my weight, I went back to my apartment, and I did my normal protein shake, and I was in a rush for work. So at least I had one of these, I had a Thermocare um, wrap that I put on my upper neck and back area. Um, so while I was at work, I had actually had some kind of pain relief going for that area of my muscle. Um, however, what you should do after you stop um, and you want to start recovering, once you get back home, you want to do the RICE method. What RICE stands for, R-I-C-E, it stands for rest, R for rest, ice, compression, and then elevation. First, you want to rest the muscle that you hurt, obviously. You don't want to further injure it. Um, and then you want to get ice. I typically do um, 20 minutes on with the ice and 20 minutes off and just go back and forth with that. Um, and then you want to compress that muscle, especially if it's your arm, um, neck, legs. You want to wrap it up. Um, don't do too much compression to where it starts going black and blue, but you obviously want some something there. Um, and then last but not least, you want to elevate that muscle. You don't want all the blood flowing into that muscle area um, while you're trying to recover. So remember rice, rest, ice, um, compression, and then elevation. So remember to stop and then do that method and then continue with your normal diet. You want to be taking in protein because that's what your, feeds your muscles so you can continue to recover. Um, you want to stop working out, um, at least that muscle group. For me, once I did all this, it was already, it was only a day or so until I had no more pain whatsoever in my upper neck and back, and then I was back to the gym like normal. Um, so once you feel that you have recovered that muscle area, it is cool to go back into the gym, back to your normal routine, but maybe start out a little bit lighter and build yourself back up to where you were before. So... That's about all I got for uh, muscle prevention or injury prevention and injury recovery. If you do have any other questions, um, definitely shoot a message to me. I respond to everyone. Um, so hope you like this. Definitely subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Adios.